So it's time for our interspecies practice. So we're talking a little earlier about balance and how do we get balance in the challenges in the world. Well, I'd like to offer you a contemplative meditation based on the five elements of Taoism today. So we're going to, you know, many of the, the spiritual traditions of the world deal with different elements. And there's, sometimes there's four, sometimes times there's five, depending on which tradition you're in. We're going to be a little Taoist today. So if there happens to be any paper uh, or writing stuff next to you, uh, that might be useful today because I'm going to ask some more questions like we started off. Um, if not, you can just kind of think about things in your head. But if you have any paper, you're a journaler, you like to write post-it notes. I have a ridiculous stack here of thoughts I have while I'm on Zoom. Um, but if you have anything near you, go ahead and grab that. And Phil, if you could bring up the elements slide, starting with the one that encourages us to take a deep breath. Beautiful. All right, folks, take a breath with us. We always like to have a little bit of a practice in addition to our listening and our talking around here. Just take a couple deep breaths and notice how you feel in your body. And we are going to start today with fire. Fire is associated with the summer. Anyone hot? Yeah. Fire is associated with the summer and with the heart. It's also associated with the bright vermilion bird. You ever seen that bright red bird? The motion of fire is expansion. Fire provides warmth and connection, enthusiasm, creativity, all those things that drive us. But too much or too little can cause our emotions to fluctuate. Too little, too little fire might make us apathetic. We can't get off the sofa. Or it might make us cold emotionally to others. I don't care about your issue. I don't get your point of view. Too much can leave us hot tempered, <laughs> impatient, impulsive, and eventually exhausted. So bring your attention to your heart for a minute. You might close your eyes if that feels comfortable to you or just keep them on the slide of fire. Think about your life right now. What doesn't have enough fire? What is that project you've been wanting to do? That email you've been wanting to send or that person you've been wanting to reconnect with, that endeavor you've wanted to start doing? What needs a little fire? Make a mental or a written note of that. Sensing into your heart again, what feels like it's too hot? <laughs> what has too much fire underneath it? Might you need to mend something after you sent a fiery email? Do you have someone you'd like to repair a relationship with because you got a little hot under the collar? Taoism is a little like Goldilocks, isn't it? Where is too much? Where is too little? What is just right? When we have too much fire, sometimes what we need is a little water. Water is stillness and harmony effortlessness, sincerity, flexibility. Water is associated in Taoism with your kidneys and probably unsurprisingly your urinary tract, right? Your ears and your bones. Animal is also, excuse me, water is also the black tortoise. 
Water is the fountain from which wisdom springs. Not enough water leaves you parched, stuck, can't move, dammed up. Too much can mean you can't make a decision. You're flowing from here to there, here to there, here to there, never stopping. Anyone feel like that? Going, 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 can't make the decision. Too much to choose from. Everything looks great or everything looks terrible. Consider how it feels. Close your eyes or look at the screen. What is it like to flow in your life? What is flowing? What is a runaway stream? What might need to be dammed up a little bit? Where are you in indecision? If you need help, metal clarifies water. Metal makes structure, integrity, firmness, clarity. It governs your lungs, your nose, and your skin. Metal is the white tiger. Its motion is inwards. Its energy is contracting in strength. Now, where do you think happens? What do you think happens with too much metal? <laughs> Rigidity, controlling, arrogant, set in our ways. I will not move. I am the North going Zacks. I will not go South to quote Dr. Seuss. That's metal. So bring attention to your lungs for a minute. Breathe in and out and draw your thoughts inward. Where are you too rigid? And where do you need firmness? You can find strength in other ways than just metal. So we move to our last two elements together in this contemplation. Wood and earth. Wood is growth and strength, cooperative, optimistic. Out of balance, wood feels like you rained on my parade. I'm misunderstood and I'm angry. Wood in balance grows, expands. The earth stabilizes wood. The earth shows patience thoughtfulness, practicality, and hard work. But too much earth can bring greed and the desire for more and more and more and more and more. More growth, more growth. In balance, earth is nurturing, supportive, a foundation. So the final set of questions for you today, you contemplative types who like to think sense into your intuition. Where are you being selfish? Uh-oh, something just popped up in my head and I think I have an apology to make. Where are you being selfish? What might bring that into balance? Do you need nurturing? We intend this group to be nurturing for you. As we close this practice, which if you'd like to go through any other time you can find on YouTube, Phil cuts the practices out and puts them up on our YouTube channel. But as you are interacting with the elements, as you're taking your bath or shower, think about water, 
As you're cooking, think about fire. As you're outside walking, think about earth, wood. When you look up at the sky, at those skyscrapers some of us take a look at every day, consider metal or the metal you wear or the metal in your home. So we take a final breath together. I hope that's offered you something for contemplation, 